So for this asymmetric epoxide, we've got our tertiary carbon, we've got our secondary carbon, and we've got basic conditions. Under basic conditions, we should expect substitution at the less hindered carbon, or the less substituted, so we're going to expect for that methoxide to attack at this carbon. And so we'll open up this molecule. I'm going to copy and paste here and again we're going we got to make room for this this uh, nucleophile so we're going to break this bond here there's our leaving group our leaving group it's tethered to the other carbon that's all right you hang out here and on the other side that's where we're going to put our methoxy so we'll put him in here and submit and that is correct. Again, this is consistent with the idea that under basic conditions, we get substitution of the epoxide at the less hindered carbon.